It was really quick and easy to get in and out. At one of Travis County's newest polling locations downtown. It's a pretty long ballot this year, but there was no line. Travis County Clerk Diana Limo Mercado and Travis County Judge Andy Brown came together at the Civil and Family Courts facility to cast their early votes. This is the part of the democratic process that I love the most because it's where everybody who's an eligible voter gets to have a voice. The first week of early voting has seen record turnout in Travis County with more than 134,000 early voters in just four days. In 2020, the entire first week saw more than 197,000 early voters, and in 2016, more than 196,000 early voters. First day we had 46,000. I think yesterday we had 43,000. We're servicing, you know, 10,000 plus more voters in a single day than is typical for a presidential election. Limo Mercado says the percentage of registered voters turning out to vote early, which is currently close to 16 percent, has been more or less on par with previous presidential elections. And while the population has grown by more than 135,000 people in the past eight years, Limo Mercado says it's important to remember the voting infrastructure hasn't changed much. There's the same number of precincts, relatively close to the same number of polling sites, same number of poll workers. Judge Brown says it's still clear there's a lot of enthusiasm in this year's election. I think it says that people here in Travis County know the issues, they know the candidates, they're excited to vote. Early voting continues through next Saturday, where the last two days will see extended hours at several locations through 10 p.m. Get in, exercise your democratic right, and if you have a plan, and if that plan involves voting early, that's that's really the key. Ballots, polling locations, and times can be found at VoteTravis.gov. Reporting on Austin, Andrew Freeman, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.